Okay. What's good, YouTube? I'm here today on a different platform instead of a uh, PS4, cause you know, fuck consoles anymore. I'm I'm done with them. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a lot of more things through uh, PC. So I hope we can start off good. Um, you're gonna be watching an old video of mine. I'm live. But the video in the background is just for your pleasure, so you don't have to sit there and watch me do absolutely nothing. Maybe I should start doing this a little more often. Um, video in the background is muted, and you won't be able to hear it. It is kind of, it's kind of whatever. So it's, it's us going off in GBs. All right, so this podcast was a long time coming. Um, it's been a while. I'm here with Juniper. And uh, Ethan, um, so Alex and Ethan, the normal Gray. Tunnel Snakes rule. And uh, here with Mike's Hard Lemonade, um, Hard Strawberry, not sponsored. <laughs> Mike, Mike is here too. <laughs> um, it is not sponsored. You know what? But you know, you know what's harder than that though. Mike's harder. No, <laughs> Twisted T hits pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love the meme. I love the meme culture already with. Um, just so you guys hey. know, I am uh, recording for YouTube and live on Twitch. So every Monday, besides the last couple Mondays, which I want to talk about real quick, uh, we've been really busy. I'm not going to lie. On my Mondays, I've actually been really busy. Um, I know I say I'm going to have them every week, but um, I did get sick for a little bit, and it kind of hit me pretty hard. Um, so I didn't really want to do too much. And then I had to get Colossal moving. Um, we're doing good in GBs. Um, we're doing all right, I should say. Our three v threes is right now we're tied eleven eleven, or twelve and twelve I think. But um, other than that, that's what I've been doing really is trying to get us moving a little bit. Um, I sent out some hats for some people to. Um, what was it, Alex? A couple days ago. Yeah, a few days ago. Um, so shout out to um, Toxify and Hunter. I bought them guys some hats. Um, Trey, I'm getting ready to buy his sometime today or tomorrow um so trying to get colossal moving a little bit and get my room set up more speaking of that i got a desk today or a, a floor lamp and i'm so excited to use it i'm gonna go over there in the corner um but what's uh let, let, before we get into too much conversation how, how has everyone been i hope you guys is uh i hope your guys is um christmas was good ethan how, how was your christmas I got a lot of anal, so it was pretty good. <laughs> good, good. I remember giving you a little bit of that, so. Ooh. Um, and for the Twitch people, I do have, I call them bubbles, okay? Max, you gotta go. I do have new channel points up, which is awesome. Um, thanks to Alex. But she hasn't got my bubbles yet. My bubbles. Um, but today's podcast is going to be huge. We're going to be talking mainly about the government and how much I love them. I just love our okay. government. All right, all right. We're, we're just going to sum it up for you, and that will be the end of the podcast. The government sucks. Fuck them. And Okay, that, thank you. Have a all nice right, day. well, everyone have a nice uh, day. And this <laughs> is no. That's the end of the podcast. All right. <laughs> so, Alex, how, how was your Christmas? I know you live with me, but how was it? Um, it's all right. I'd work, so. Yeah, she worked on Christmas. Cause she's Gay. Like, Bitch! Oh, um, <laughs> get out of here. I am going to be hosting a small New Year's party, but it's not going to be as big as what I wanted it to be. Just with, I'll be there. With me so being, the party will be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With me being <laughs> busy and, and everything happening lately, I'm just. And I've been I've been wore out. Like I just I don't know, exhausted. I guess I can't really sleep at night. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know. Yeah, I've noticed you've been getting on earlier a lot, like for live stream. Yeah, way earlier. Yeah, like the other day I went I went to leave for work and it said you were live. And it was like six thirty or something. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I just I just can't sleep. Um, but I am on. PC, and if I click on this screen, it's probably going to click off. 
Yeah, it's probably going to click off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and look at CNN because we love CNN news. I'm going to just look it up on my phone for now. If I find something, I'll send it to myself. And we'll watch it. Yeah, of course, we all know what they're talking about, and that's what we're going to get into, so I'm just going to wait on that. Huh? President Trump's favorite newspaper is turned against him. New York Post. Stop the insanity, that's what they said. That's funny. What the hell's a bust? With a T, a bust. I took this off because it was getting hot. Now it's getting cold again. A bust of Brianna, Brianna Taylor was damaged in an apparent act of vandalism. Oh. Oh, uh, a bust is like... It, it's like a chest up. Uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Famous yeah. back in the great time. Man, why, why do... Uh, I, okay, I, I can... I can understand why someone would vandalize it, and then I can understand why they, they shouldn't. It's kind of like these statues that have been up for years, and everyone's been vandalizing them. And what irks me the most probably is the ones that like vandalize the World War II grave sites. Like, what the? What is your problem? So I can understand why someone would want to vandalize this, but at the same time, it's still illegal. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time. I don't understand why they would do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, you understand, like, the political, like, background of doing it. But at the same time, you're like, but it's illegal, so I can't really condone it. So. I'm never going to condone it. I don't give a fuck if it's General Lee. I, I don't. I, yeah. It's someone, something, history, property, whatever. I'm going to tell you right now, if I put a, a statue up on my dog and motherfucker comes over and busts it, I'm going to bust their ass, bro. Whether it's they think it, well, it doesn't matter. It's a symbol of something. Exactly. Well, and here's my thing. It's not yours, so don't touch it. Yeah. Now, granted, I don't know why the statue was up in the first place. You know, I don't believe in statues. I don't believe in flags. I, I don't really... A statue does nothing for me. It just... It's a waste of space. I'm sorry. That's all I'm going to say. I don't give a fuck if it's a monument. It's just a waste of space. That's fair. That's fair. That's, just my, that's my opinion, though. I mean, it's, it, that's just... It's a waste of space. Why make it? Everyone wants to talk about recycling and saving the earth and shit. Here we are with either ceramic or concrete fucking statue that takes up space. I just, I don't get it. Plant a fucking tree, bro. Plant a fucking tree. I, I don't know. What you, okay, okay. Let's be honest. What What is your guys' view on statues? Like, how do you guys feel about statues? I... <laughs> Personally, I feel like unless there's some form of, like, all right, let's use Washington, D.C. as an example. Like, I expect to see statues in Washington, D.C. because it's such a monumental, no pun intended, a very monumental historical place. So I expect to see statues there. But, like, statues in random towns, I mean, I guess unless there's some form of historical impact of whatever the statue is, I don't see the point. Like, I don't know. Same thing, waste of space. Now, okay, I, I can't understand that. I can't I can't understand that. I don't understand Alexander Hamilton one, but, you know. Shut the fuck up. I, I, I kind of want to know what Ethan's point of view is on statues. Like, you got to have a little point of view on this one. I know you do. I mean... I don't like statues. Like, okay, when they said they were going to take down Christopher Columbus, you know what? I applauded. I was like, you know what? Good. I don't Same. even know why the fuck we had a statue of that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Let's be no, honest, no. bro. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah, like, there, there's certain individuals. Like, generally, people need to understand that he wasn't fighting with the South because he wanted slavery he was fighting with the south because he believed in what the south like how they wanted more state power than uh 
federal power. Yeah, and that's that's the whole thing with the Civil War. Everyone always thinks that it was just strictly about slavery, which we can probably say it was majority. It was, about I was going to say def- definitely a majority. I'd say. But when you start it's, digging, it, there was a lot more meaning behind this war than just slavery. Yeah. However, statues, okay, in museums, I could probably understand well, it more. I, I was about I get, to say I get, that. I yeah. feel like I feel like statues, like okay, maybe this is my point of view. Anything that has a national historical impact should probably be in a museum. Or I mean, DC, I would make an exception for DC because it's the nation's capital and it's just a big museum, anyways. I feel like local legends, maybe, like if, I don't know, if we had some sort of hero around here that did something crazy and we wanted to put a statue up, I'd make an exception for that because it's more of a local Or name a mountain after them. Yeah, like... Uh, Of course, they got that taken away. Yeah. Okay, personally, personally, I think Nemesis Mountain would have been cool as a, as a, uh... Yeah, but it... As an alternative, like Nemesis Mountain, I'd be like, I ain't driving up that. <laughs> there's so many stories on that. I, I don't even, I don't even want to get started with that because there's so many different stories. <laughs> but like, all right, so Christopher Columbus, I, we all know that 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 shit was just fake as fuck. You watching history? That's why watching history. Like, wait, what was that? You like lagged out for some reason? I said, if you want to talk about something being whitewashed historically, Christopher Columbus is just nothing but whitewashing. Like, he wasn't the first one to, di- obviously, because there were people here already, so he definitely wasn't the first person to discover it. I can also understand, like, natural disasters, not Bush did 9-11 disasters, but, like, natural disasters, <laughs> like Katrina. Like, I can understand monument for something like that. Yeah, I... I- Totally get that too. Or something that is like, like tragic, like Flight ninety three, which I still don't understand how they fucking. That's whatever. I'm not even gonna get into that. That's a whole ass different podcast there. But that that's the things I'm talking about. Like I can understand natural disasters, putting them in museums, but I, I just it's a waste of space to me. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like if I want to go learn about history, the first place I'm going to go is a museum, not to a fucking statue. So, like, I feel like they just should be in statues, or in museums. Or even someone who made a college. Yeah, I feel like the founder of college, like a statue of them being put up, I could, I could get behind that. Like, again local status i feel like a museum is or a statue is whatever but i don't know if general lee didn't let for example if general lee didn't do something specifically for that town then why do they have a statue of him (laughs) yeah yeah i can understand that yeah i get that and like uh what's that what's that dog's name hachi like y'all ever fucking take hachi down then we're gonna have a real riot right there bro that's a real story that's a real statue don't fuck with it i don't know if you guys know what hot is or not i think you've mentioned it before to me yeah it's a dog it's a doggy but don't fuck with it man but all right let's move on uh we have a this is pretty cool a newly identified uh, this is actually on cnn so i'm really surprised uh newly identified 11 Tonus Mirus, also known as Wary Dwarf Burrowing Snake. Why can't they oh. just say Dwarf Snake or some shit? Yes, Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. It is native to the islands of Samar and Liet in the Philippines. It's a hmm. fucking new, new breed of snake that was there the whole time. Hey, did you see that they, uh, they discovered a, a new part of our mouth? Like there's another piece of our mouth? What? Yes. Yeah, it's the one that doesn't work to shut me the fuck up. <laughs> wow. 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 That voice yeah, look it up. There's, there's a new, uh, they found another piece in our mouth. It's really tiny, but there's a piece in our mouth that they just now discovered. It's really weird. Hmm. 
The 737 Max is about to fly in the U.S. again. Can you stop? In nearly two years of not flying, apparently, or something. First time in nearly two years. I should have called my sister's friend. Ooh. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Bomb in Nashville or some shit? You didn't know? Uh, you didn't know about that? Bro, I don't watch the fucking news. Oh. The, Monday's Holy my shit. news, bro. Monday's is my Holy news. Shit. I hate you the are, fucking news. You are like, that was on Christmas that happened. Well, yeah. It was five hours ago they posted about it. What the fuck? <laughs> The fuck? I don't yeah, watch the, this stupid the shit. O- the only guy that got killed was the guy that set the bomb off. And the only reason Not- nobody, nobody else got killed is because the, the RV was screaming at people that it was going to blow up, so they evacuated. That's weird. Well, like, some audio was playing saying this RV is going to... And then there was a truck, I think, yesterday awesome. that was... That had the same audio playing, but they determined that was just fake news. Fake news! Nobody cares. Cool. Talking about New Year's and shit. Uh, Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, someone died from Deadliest Catch. Cool, I guess. You know, why would you... Why is it even... Why is that news? Look, I don't give a fuck if I'm famous, man. Don't let me put my death all over the fucking news, bro. What the fuck? I'm dead. <laughs> What does Tupac say? Love me when I'm alive, not when I'm dead. Sure, An active yeah, yeah. duty special forces soldier identified by authorities as Duke Webb has been charged with murder after three people were killed and three wounded in a shooting Saturday at a bowling alley in Illinois. But y'all trust your fucking government. And they hire people like that? Huh? Special forces, man. Special forces. We ain't talking about no army guru ass motherfucker. We talking about dudes that have been trained for uh, pff, way, way better training than fucking army. I mean, it could be army special forces, but you get my drift. Special forces. That's crazy to me. Yeah. Lori Lachlan? Who's that? Oh, she, um... She looks familiar. She was on Full House. Oh, that dumb bitch. <laughs> what about her? I mean, she committed, um, oh like, massive fraud to get her daughters into a college, like... Her daughters had to take like an entrance exam and she paid off the proctors to pass her kids. And her kids were actually kind of mad at her for it. <laughs> well, that's a mother right there, everybody. A round of applause, bro. A round of applause. Yeah, her one daughter that she did it to, she was kind of mad at her. She was like, why would you do that Dude. to her? Like, she's like, Go. if I couldn't get in by myself, then why would you interfere? Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. William, William H. Macy's wife did the same thing, but hers wasn't Nova, quite as bad. Novavax on Monday announced the start of the phase three trial and its COVID vaccine. That kind of scary, bro. Huh? I ain't putting nothing in my body. I don't give a fuck. People get the flu shot and still die from the flu. So what the hell is going to be the difference? That's what I, I don't understand. If people still getting the flu and dying from it, like just a regular flu, what the? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. I ain't trusting no fucking vaccine. <laughs> just shoot me up with some moonshine. We'll be we call it even.
Trump chooses chaos with delayed signature of COVID relief bill. President Trump is thrusting fresh turmoil into his final days of an office seeking to settle scores and remain a center of attention. All right. <clears throat> Who here thinks let's get let's get into it. Who here thinks that the ele election could be rigged? Huh. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. No, nah, I wouldn't be surprised. Because there's always out of them people was over there saying how it can't be, how it can be. I just, let's get into it. How can it not be rigged? That's the, that's the question. No one ever asked. How can it not be? Huh? Like how? Where? Where is the? I'm looking for a word here. Indefinite proof that it cannot be rigged. There's always there's a, you can have, you could name off how many ways it could be rigged, but tell me how it can't be. You see what I'm saying? I know. Cause what was it when Donald Trump was running, like? before he actually became president, he said, uh, they said something about the, the Russians fucking doing shit, right? Yeah. So, how can they just not do it for one year? Or, you know, you telling me that you fixed it over the four years? Well, you, and you can't you can't rig it up for four years. You can't set it up for the next four years. I mean, I said the same thing when Trump got elected that something had to have rigged. I mean, I mean, okay, I shouldn't say I said the same thing, but people said the same thing when Trump got elected that it was rigged, and now they're mm -hmm. saying now it's the other side saying it's rigged. I feel like no matter what we do, the other side's always going to say, "Well, the election's been rigged." I always think it is. Well, yeah. I don't give a fuck who you are. I, I don't care if you're Ethan. If Ethan gets in it, I'm still going to say it was rigged. Sorry, Ethan. I, no, I, I'll I'd say it's rigged, too. I'd expect the same, because ain't no one going to vote for my ass, bro. <laughs> you vote for me. We, yes. uh, we all in trouble. Yeah, they don't, Chris, they don't want an honest asshole in the Yeah, Exactly. The exactly. They kind of got one right now. Let's be fair. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Trump is kind of an asshole, but he's an honest one. Well, I can't say he's honest. I'm not going to say he's honest. He's just an asshole. <laughs> but you need, to me, you need someone in there that does not give a fuck about publicity. Yeah. Like, the greatest presidents ever was the ones that did not care about the media. Yeah, they were just like, yeah, I'll do what I want. F I do what FDR, I want. FDR, he didn't care. You know, he's gonna do what he thinks is right. Now, granted, you're always gonna have two sides, and that's that's the sad part because there's supposed to be three. But I I always said that they, the fucking elections are rigged no matter what. All right, they're gonna put oh, yeah. in they're gonna put in who they think is the best. Who, who fucking yeah. knows? Maybe it's a fucking game. Maybe they're both fucking siding with uh, each other so they all get the fucking money. Maybe. You know, how, how do we know that the Re Republicans and Democrats don't join forces just to fuck over the American people and get more money out of them? I mean, I can pop out theories left and right. No one, no one can really say anything about it. It's going to be hard to disprove them, too. Hmm. Huh? But yeah, with this whole, what we're dealing with right now is what I, is really pissing me off with the whole fucking stimulus checks. All right. <laughs> how, how long have we heard about these things now? I mean, I was, at, much I was at work yet. So let's see. Yeah. I think we heard about it clear in September, haven't we? Maybe even sooner than that. It might even have been like right after the first one. 
and they kept playing with us. They kept vetoing the bill because of this. Veto like, man, you guys, you guys gotta understand. You stop fucking with us. Don't, don't sit there. Like, the media is what the main problem is on this, I believe. Oh yeah. And the government. I mean, obviously the government's got their two cents in, but like, if you're gonna sit there and, and talk about it and have it all over the media, but then just say, ah, we're not gonna have it. We're not gonna do a stimulus check. Uh, you know, one side doesn't like it, the other side don't like it. it. Doesn't fit their needs. It doesn't fit what they want. We have a voting system, but why can't we vote on this? Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand why we don't ever have a vote or a choice in what we want. Because that's why we have representatives. They're supposed to... They're supposed to vote for the shit that they think or that we want, but they never do. They vote for what lines their pockets, so... And that's, that's where we're wrong. That's where the entire fucking country is wrong. <laughs> Because we sit there, not us, but just the people in general, nobody does shit about it. We have a government that's just running us over, like it's no, no big deal. We go to war with a country, why are we going to war with them? Why can't you tell us? Why has it got to be a fucking top secret? Because not only if the, the government goes to a war with the wrong country, but if they go... To war with the wrong country for no good reason and then we get to pay for it like what if they come over and bomb the east coast or what if they come bomb any anywhere why don't we get to say in, in most of what the government has to do this is how bands like system of a down get started i i just i don't get it we're, we're all on the same side or apparently we're all human beings. We're all living in fucking the United States. So it's like, I, I just don't get where the government can sit there all day long and make choices for us. I mean, if you guys think it's fair, I mean, that's... Nah. I mean, I know, I know we have, I know we have representatives. But that's the issue. <laughs> all right. We okay, let's say our governor. I didn't vote for him. Why the well, fuck yeah, do I gotta listen to him? I was gonna say because you didn't vote, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why the fuck do I gotta listen to him? I don't like either of them. What? Why? I'd rather listen to fucking Mickey Mouse. Because you live in America, and that's just how they do it. And it's wrong. It's been wrong for the beginning of time. Democracy does not work. I don't give a fuck who you are. You could, you could, you could try to say that it works and it works and it works and it works. I'm, I'm never gonna listen to it. Democracy works in small groups where you know everybody. Huh? Because I could sit there, man. <clears throat> I bet you that if I ran for president, I, I get in. But all I have to do is put on this fake ass smile and tell you what you want to hear. And then when I get in office, what are you going to do about it? It's so hard to impeach a president. The president has no word in it anyway. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. My side won. Yep. And that's what I just don't get. Two sides don't work. You need, you literally need to be able to fucking, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking for here. You, democracy just does not work in, in such a large group. Like, okay, I can give you guys a scenario, right? All right, let's, let's take Colossal for example. <laughs> Camper. Let's take, let's take Colossal for example, all right? Now I, I I I'm your leader, right? I, I'm the owner of Colossal, but my term is up. All right. We have two candidates. 
We have Mad Russian. Let's say he. Let's just say he's very involved in, in Colossal, like I am. And then you have someone who we just we just recruited. All right, you know Mad Russian. You don't know the next guy. Who are you gonna vote for? Mad, Mad Russian. Russian. Exactly. You give him. You even give the guy two weeks for a campaign. He's not gonna win that. Now let's use another scenario. I'm up for re-election, right? And then we have someone in our group, like Wade. Wade's the only candidate running against me. Who are you gonna vote for? You're gonna vote for- For not Wade. Yeah, you're gonna vote for someone that you've either, one, you've known longer, or one, you trust more. <laughs> or B, is not a complete dumbass. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but you see my point. Like, democracy will work in such a small group because you know each other. You know who to vote for. And you can keep your votes anonym anonymous. So it's not like you're picking favorites. I mean, you kind of are. But that's the whole point of fucking democracy. You're picking who you think could run it better and, and do a better job. So you're literally picking favorites. I'd vote for the independent as in Mr. Camper. <laughs> Mr. Camper would make a astounding uh, founder of Colossal, even though you are a founder of Colossal. If we ever get a, a monument made out of our heads, you would be on there, Mr. Camper. Thank you for joining in the podcast. Now, since you're in here, Camper, I got to ask you one important question. I know you a big Trump fan. No, I, no. I did not vote this year because I don't. I just. I to me, I don't believe in voting. I, to me, it serves no purpose. I guess it kind of does now because my vote actually does count in Pennsylvania, but in Maryland, it never counted. It doesn't fucking matter if I voted for whoever. It's always a fucking shit state. Um. So my vote does count now. So I might have to start thinking about voting. However, let me let me be clear here. I didn't like either president. But if I had to vote, I would have voted Trump. I don't give a fuck what anyone has to say. I would have just voted for him just because of my job. I mean, that's... I'll be honest. Bottom line. Yeah, I'll be honest. Just because of my job. Um, but let me say this. Let me, let me ask you this. What is your point on the stimulus? This whole $600... Mini corn dogs in the air fryer. I fucking love them. What what is your point of view on this whole stimulus? Like to me, I think six hundred dollars is a, a slap in the face. It's just a backhand. Trump waited out as long as he could, but he knows we're in need, so he just signed it. I, that's what I got from Trump off doing this. He knows he's not going to be in office, so he just said, "Fuck it, sign away." I feel like that's what he did. I don't know. I'm not in his head. I can't tell you. But he knows it, that he's not going to be in office, so so why even? And what do you guys think? What Do you guys think he did the same thing? Like, he just kind of signed it and said, fuck it? Uh, yeah. Here, hold on. We're on Discord. <laughs> oh, God. I have, I have something to, to share. Shit, um, I'm not on. Where are we at? Hold on, hold on. general chat. I gotta send it to myself though. All right. Oh damn, the screen didn't change, and I clicked on it. Okay, cool. I think you'll find it. Oh, oh yeah. no, it didn't save it. Yeah, camper. What What do you think about the whole? Um... I don't know if you're still here or not. Damn it. I just, I don't know, man. Like I said, I would have voted Trump all day long just because of my job. And he's clearly 
I think just a little bit better than <laughs> Biden because Biden's a little. I don't. I don't like people who sniff children. That's just weird to me. <laughs> Agreed. People can say what they want about Trump, about the pageants or whatever, but. I mean, I believe that too. I believe he fucking did that, but on national television, you're sniffing your granddaughter? That's a little <laughs> sus, bro. Was he, is he, what is, I don't even know, is that red? Would that be red? Red sus? Is he red or blue? I don't even know what that means. He's blue. Yeah, blue looking a little slu- sus, man. But bl- Blue looking a little sus. <sighs> exactly, Camper. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like he just kind of he, he kind of gave up on the whole 2000 because he knows he's not gonna be in office. So he just kind of said, "Fuck it, fuck it." Oh yeah, I I oh man, I got the fucking delay on on my stream. That sucks. I forgot to take it off. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I'm the same way. Um, I, I did, I, I, I did like Trump way more than I like Biden. Again, smelling kids, it's a little weird to me, bro. It's a little weird to me. Okay, I, I just can't do that. Oh shit, I better fix my camera on this one. We just need to take a twisted T and smash it over the government's face. We need to take a twisted T and smash it over the United States. Everyone's fucking loopy. It doesn't matter who we are. Like, why are we getting. Why, why in the pandemic did we go buy toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and hand soap? I'm still stuck on that one. Like, welcome to 2020, I guess. Here, no toilet paper. I yeah. bet you Charmin fucking love that shit. They're like, God damn, let's fucking make another virus. <laughs> That's probably why they probably mutated the virus. <laughs> let's put let's put something in the fucking toilet paper that will mutate it. <laughs> but like, I just did, I didn't get it, man. Like, what did you guys not like fucking wash your hands from before, bro? <laughs> like, shit. Uh-huh. I don't get it. But the you can just see how corrupt not only the government but the media. So, um I don't know if you guys ever watched the the show. It was on Netflix a long time ago called Unexplained. Wait, wait Alex, is that what it was? Unacknowledged. Unacknowledged. He talks about the government. There's so many people in there that says the same story and they're different like they're not in the same room. Like they're completely different different scenes, different. You can tell it's a different day. Like, they sit there and they say how corrupt the fucking media is because of the government. The government has their hand in every single media outlet out there. So how can they not twist your fucking brain? Oh, I say fuck the government, bro. This country, it's not great no more. I just gotta say it. It's a great nation, sure, you know. We got bombs, we got nukes. I feel a lot more safer living in America than I do other other fucking states, but other countries. It's sad though that we have to rely on nuclear warfare to to protect us. It it really is. Now the whole defund the police, I agree and disagree at the same time. Like, okay, I understand defunding it, but with other countries, when it when they did that whole um like graph on, on like how how much um Af- like uh, there was parts of Africa in there how much smaller their income is for for training them okay i'm not walking around the streets with an ak either as a civilian okay there there's like I, you just can't compare countries to other countries you you can't do that yeah you you can't sit there and and say all right well this country they ain't putting a lot of money in their in their their police system, but also you ain't walking around with a fucking AR-15 on in New York, are you? 
Like that that bats an eyelash a little bit towards people. Over in some of them other countries, you can buy a gun and it don't matter who you are. It don't matter how old you are. I watched, you got the money? I, take it. Well, you don't even have to have the money over there some places. I, I watched um so many documentaries where these fucking 12-year-old boys walking around with a fucking AK. Man, I don't know if they're actually 12. Some of them looked even younger, if I want to be honest. But huh? you can't you can't compare that. I, I don't get where people people just sit there and say, yeah, well, this country... Yeah, no, just get that. Just shut up, bro. Just shut up. Sit down, shut up. Like, I, it's just the way it is, though. You you guys know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't compare. Oh, yeah. What do they say? That's apples or oranges or some shit? Yeah. But both are a fruit, so why can't you? Yeah. We live on Earth. We can compare the same thing. But we two different fucking objects. We Africa or we fucking America. You you can compare the two. They look they could look the same, but they don't act the same. They don't taste the same. That's what I'm saying. Twelve year old boys walking over there with AKs, you ain't fucking with them. I just I don't know. Policing. I, I have a whole ass different view on, on police in the world. I mean, not the world, but our world, I guess, our nation. I, I don't understand why we have all this technology, why we can't just have cameras up. Like as as much as that sucks for me to say, I mean, all right, let's put a let's put let's start putting security cameras up at each bar, at each strip club. That'll lower the rate, uh, uh the rape victims. You know, people that get harassed outside the bar and shit. I'm not saying it's going to completely stop it, but... Yeah. You're not going to completely stop anything. There's, there's no way. <clears throat> but our government's so set on, on stupid shit. I just, I don't know. What can you do? Sit here and cry about it. Here's a good. Here's a good question. Do you think when something is happening in the government that they will purposely put drugs out on the street? I believe it. Okay. Because you know the song "Prison Song" by System of a Down, of course. That talks about how drugs become very convenient around times when the government's getting involved with something. And that's that's what I was saying with media, man. They can twist your fucking brain to no end. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah. If they have their finger in the media, fuck. Huh? What 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 are you gonna do? You're gonna believe what you see. Yeah. Which is sad to say. It's just true though. People just blind by the fact that their government is corrupt and they don't give a fuck about it. Like, all right, why why is there why is there secrets about Area Fifty One? What was so what's so secret about it? Aren't we the people that live here too? Fund it. <laughs> yeah, don't do we fund it? Like. And again, I wouldn't I wouldn't move anywhere else besides maybe maybe Japan, but also in Japan things are a little different there. Yeah. I would have to know the the laws and everything else, which I think their government's a little bit more strict, obviously. Mhm. Mm then you also have to deal with their cultural differences. Fuck, we deal with that here. Yeah. Well, make sure you take your damn shoes off before you go in anywhere. I think they said that's more of a sign of respect, but I'm not sure.
Watch the way you put chopsticks down in your bowl. <laughs> America used to be like that with their silverware. Yeah. There was supposed to be a way you're supposed to put your silverware. Yeah. Let's just go back to eating with our hands. It'll be fine. But yeah, this whole this whole stimulus shit got me pissed off. Like it's we're we're suffering. We're, we're the American people, and we're suffering. Me, I'm I'm gonna be straightforward. I don't give a damn. All right. I don't give a damn. <laughs> That's just because I'll take free money all day long. I'm not gonna lie, but I know it's gonna bite us in the ass either later, sooner than later. I don't know, but either way, I just don't like our government, so, I mean, if you all gonna give me the 2000 sure, no yeah. doubt, I'm gonna take it, I'm, I'm one of them people, I'll take that money, but I'm not gonna go get a vaccine for it, I'm not gonna do what you want me to do for it, because... We still are people, and I got fucking choices, and I'm not gonna be dumb. You can give me that two thousand all day long. Yeah. Alex, over here, all quiet. What are you looking up on Facebook? I wasn't looking anything up on Facebook. Well, you're hitting scroll wheel pretty viciously. I was looking at something else. Porn. No. But yeah, I'm just so sick of this here talk oh. about the stimulus, and then you get everyone's hopes up. Like, man, get the fuck out of here. That shit just annoying. Honestly, pisses me off. Because it's like, you don't, they don't even care. When they should. And, and my whole other idea about the police is why don't we just police ourselves you know motherfucker walk up in my house i should have the right to shoot him i don't give a fuck if it's a kill shot or a, a dick shot i don't give a fuck he's in my house you know protect what the hell is mine you know what i'm saying no, I'm Sam. No, I'm Sam. No, I'm Sam. I'm sure you can agree to that one, though. Completely disagree with you. Can't. I can't. I just oh, can't. I know you'd shoot a motherfucker. I know you would. Fucking run through the wrong Ethan today! Ding ding, motherfucker. Ramsey might have other choice words. That's like that's like in, in Pennsylvania. I have the right to shoot someone that's in my house. I just can't double tap. I said, well, I don't have to worry about the double tap. I'll just shoot that motherfucker once and be done. Dogs can have them afterwards. <laughs> what is that squeaking sound? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Ember. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, I know it's loud, isn't it? I turned you down a little bit. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Here, I'll get her up. Man, why was you up all the way? You're fucking. Oh, we was playing Left 4 Dead 2 last time, probably. The game's loud as fuck. Any other good questions about the government? Alex, I know you got a few. Come on. Sh dish them out. Dish them out. What, about the government? Yeah, questions. Like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I know you got to have a couple. Come on. I don't even know. I... I wasn't mentally prepared for this podcast. You're never mentally prepared for anything. I am not. You're right. 
right, all right. Just just look up like some good questions, cause I know you're gonna have some good questions. You just gotta joggle your brain a little bit. Okay, so. Ethan, you got any more good questions? I like I like the questions. I like the questions. They're nice. Ask ask your woman. Brandy questions, babe. Huh? Like, what would you do in this situation? What would you do? Is, is a draft still a thing? Yes. Yes. Oh boy. Huh? Yeah, yes, ask me my opinion about that. Yeah, <laughs> ask me my opinion about that. All right, let's go with Ethan first. All right. Oh boy. Either have no draft at all, or make women do it too. The the women all have to sign up for it. That that. Law went into effect the year after I graduated. Thank goodness. And okay. I agree yeah, fuck I you agree. women! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and, I, and I agree with Ethan. Either no draft or everyone. Well, everyone from a certain point on because, like, look, and I'm, I also am in agreement though, that there are some people that shouldn't be in the military and a draft yeah, would please. prevent them this from... Yeah, please. exactly why the draft shouldn't exist. Exa please. Exactly. Please give me a gun. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it live. It's on YouTube. Y'all want me in a draft? Y'all going to force me to do it? Please sign me up. I'll be in prison. I guarantee you. Y'all know what happened in Vietnam? Let's just say, the let's just say, gun. let's just say Vietnam, all right? I ain't going to say anything else and get my ass in trouble, huh. all right? I'm just going to say, nah, bitch. <laughs> Nom. Oh shit! You guys know what I'm talking about, though. I mean, there's a lot that was wrong. There was a lot wrong with Nom, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, but you, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's all that needs to be said, right there. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm just gonna say Nom, bitch. Cause you ain't want me to be in there. I don't want to be in there in the first place. You gonna force me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. That's why mutinies happened. Yeah. Look at Yondu from fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> no. No one gets that one. No one. No one gets it. Sorry, I was reading some of these questions. I actually found a list of really good questions that we can talk about. Some of them really are. Ethan, aren't... did you hear what I said? No. Yeah, you said that's how mutiny sounded. I said, yeah, look at Yondu. Oh my god. I heard you say Yondu's name, but. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, all right. Alex, what's your opinion? On. On the draft. Oh, basically what Ethan said, like, I feel like it should be both, it should be males and females, but at the same time, I'm thinking it's probably just better if we don't have a draft at all, because we, again, we don't need one anymore. We honestly do not need one. I'm in agreement there. I am definitely in agreement, and I'm in agreement that we don't need a draft, especially because some people don't fucking need to be in the military. I, okay, but, let's be honest. Have, We've never really needed one, though. Uh, honestly, people signed well, up for World War Two. No, they signed up. Well, I yeah, but they didn't really draft people because people signed up in World War Two. But like Vietnam War was definitely one of those like they should have taken into. We didn't even need to go to war. That's the fucked up part about that World War Two. People signed up for it. No one wanted to go to Vietnam because it was a dumb war. That's what I'm saying. If you'd let me finish. Go ahead, it ain't gonna go nowhere, guaranteed. Yes, it will. All right, I want to hear this, because it ain't gonna go nowhere. I think the reason that they enacted the draft for Vietnam was because nobody was signing up, and they should have taken that into consideration. Well, nobody's signing up, so why are we doing this? Okay, that still went nowhere. That's what I'm saying. No, everyone knows the fucking Vietnam was a, a stupid war to even get into. Agreed. So they I mean, even... I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I don't I'll offend some people, probably, but I actually kind of support it. I, I support what Vietnam did. Like, they were getting shit on by the French, so 
And, and like the way the French treated them was shit. So they rebelled. I'm like, can you really blame them? Yeah, but why did we have to go? Exactly. It's because colonialism and French are our allies. So it's like, oh, we gotta make sure our allies are. No, no, I can answer that question in a lot less words because America doesn't know how to keep their nose out of everyone else's business because i'm gonna tell you right now this is my problem with that if we decided to have a uh a, a militia or a, a a civil war again how do we know that another country's not going to get involved obviously we don't want another country to get involved no yeah. because that yeah agreed so why do we keep putting our nose in other people's business that's like... why i don't support it because i know for one day we're gonna have a fucking war whether it's in my lifetime or, or maybe my kid's lifetime, if I ever have one, that is it is it is it gonna come down to that? Yeah. Like fuck that, man. I, I don't know. I just never supported that just because of that's the way I feel. Now World War Two, that's a whole ass another story. <laughs> like we're not talking about one country versus another country there. We're talking mayhem. And I'm pretty sure the French kind of fucked us over in a, a couple of different ways. So, well, the French, like, like I always say, the French always have one flag in every war, and that's the white flag. So, but yeah. no offense to anyone who's French, but uh, it's true. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know how to fight. Y'all just be friendly, sit there, be happy, be be content with your French fries and your your pizza and shit. But y'all don't know how to win the war. Let's just be honest. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh, I love talking about wars. Ah! My opinion on the draft? Fuck that shit. We don't need it. We never did. Yeah, I mean, they hell, they fucking wasted how much money doing the Cold War. Didn't even fucking fire a bullet. That's another, I mean, it, I don't want to say it was pointless, but we, we spent way too much money than what was needed. How, what was that documentary we watched, Alex? It was like, what, 12, 12 million to make a... A B-52 or 12 billion? It was 12 something, wasn't it? I don't remember. And it was like 52 flying at all times? Or 32? Like, that's ridiculous, bro. We don't need that shit. 15 million. Mm. Which would be about 61 million in 2019. Yeah. And how many was flying at the same time? Because they, 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 they flew them constantly. It was something like what you said. That's... I don't know. That sounds like a lot of waste of money for... For no good reason. That's a lot of waste of money. I think that's one reason why we're in fucking debt. 15 million back in... The Cold War to build a fucking plane to just fly around and say, "Hey, look at we got bombs." Like I'm pretty sure everyone knows we have bombs. All right, Alex, shoot, shoot some questions. Um, I'm some of these are like they're political, but they're not at the same time. Like. Should the practice of physician-assisted suicide be allowed? Like, that's a topic for a whole Ooh. podcast. Like, that's a podcast in itself right there. So, like, I'm trying to look at some that we can answer pretty quickly. Yeah, that's a long-ass answer on that one. That, yes, it, yeah, it is. that is a whole podcast in itself. That is a, well, someone put it in the podcast idea Discord because... Uh, well, you're on there, aren't you? Or no? I, I am, but... If I remember, I'll write it in there. All right, here's one. Here's one that kind of has something to do with war, since we're still kind of on that topic. Should the United States attempt to spread 
the principles of democracy throughout the world, or should we let the other countries decide for themselves? Decide for okay. themselves. All right. Okay, well, we're on agreement there. How's that? Like that, so, that's yeah. the reason. That's the reason we get in the wars. Yeah. If this country I, wants to do really communism, let them fucking do communism. Yeah, because okay, okay, we we put our nose in it because we do. We do put our nose in it. Then they're gonna put their nose in ours. Why do we want that? Right. That's that's the whole reason why I feel like most of these fucking elections are rigged because of uh, Kirchhoff and what he said. I'm pretty sure it's Kirchhoff. I don't I don't know his Russian fucking name. I'm sorry. Um. He's trying to turn us communist. That was a pretty easy, quick question. Yeah, it right. really was. So, okay, now here's here's a, another good question because we're kind of talking about government, like president, vice, all, all that. Should there be a constitutional amendment that allows naturalized citizens to be president or vice president? To let who? Naturalized citizens. So like like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Or, like like Arnold. Yes. I mean, fuck yeah. I think I've always I agreed think, with that because he lives here. Uh, yes, and he he was and, governor too. And I, so. and, I was, and I was gonna say he's run for an office, so why can he run for governor and not for president? Like that makes absolutely no sense to me. Now, okay, how about how about this? You had to live in, in the United States for like a certain amount of years, maybe. Which I agree, there would have to be a, an extra stipulation. Like they obviously they have to be thirty five. Cause I don't, I don't want to... no like Jaw Jaw Rick Toffin motherfucking coming over here for a year and be like, yeah, I'm president now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like the requirement should be you have to be 35, like anybody else. Uh, you have to be legal. Like, you have to have taken a citizenship test and all that. Obviously. Can we just and say then... that women shouldn't be president? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, off topic for just a second. I had someone in my uh, chat say uh, I was sexist for the um, for the um, skin I had on on Call of Duty. It turns out it was my friend, but it was fucking hilarious. I was like, "You serious right now?" I, I didn't even know he was my friend until he texted me. Yeah, you sexist piece of shit. <laughs> I had a skin on Call of Duty, and he comes in here and says I was sexist. You're probably sexist for having that skin. Oh, my God. I'm like, well, probably. That's all I said. Mm -hmm. says, yeah, probably. It turned out it was my friend. I was like, Jesus Christ. That's why I had to, I had to pick fun at the, the women being president. The only, okay, I'm not against it one bit, a woman being president. All I have to say is this. If a woman becomes president, we'll probably go to war. And not because of us, it'll be because of another country. Yeah, other countries might look at us as a, a, a weaker country because we always yeah. have a, a male president. And it's not me being sexist one bit, it's just... Oh, no, it's other countries being... Okay, but you can't, I mean, you can't blame them. Well, no, but that, uh, all that has to do is with, like, cultural, like, how women are viewed in other cultures, and usually it's not good, so. That's what I'm saying, you look at, you look at our history, there's never been so, a, a, a woman leader. You go to, like, England or some shit, they have queens and shit, so, I mean, queen. it's different. That shit's yeah, way like, different. So it's not that it's sexism, it's just. No, I, I mean, it, it, it is, but it I'm isn't. I'm not sexist. Like, if I was like sexist, y'all would know it. It's technically sexist, but. The other countries are sexist, not us. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not, it, it is sexist that they view mm -hmm. women like that, but they don't know better. So is it really?
It's sexist on their part, but I want to like... Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, next question. Wait, 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 wait. Ethan, what do you think about women president? I don't care. Anyone but Hillary. Yeah, anyone but Hillary. I don't like, I don't like liars. I can't find any more... Wait. Can you find, like, two more? Two more called on a uh, podcast. Two more. Okay, hold on. Okay, my beer's almost done. And then I gotta... I wanna straighten my room up a little bit. Oh! What the okay. fuck? I don't know. I'm just getting a lot of, like... Should marijuana be legal? Should... That's not really... I mean, that is kind of a government thing, though. Oh, hold on. I think I found... Oh, here's a good one. It's a pretty broad question. Do you think there is a world government that is not corrupt? A world huh? government? Just like, yeah, like any government in the world. <laughs> that... <laughs> it's, it's, it's been proven in psychology. If you give someone power, they will abuse it. Yeah. Well, now, okay. Now, here's the follow up question to that. It's literally right under it. Why do you think there is so much corruption in government? There's my answer. There's my say. answer. He said, There's my answer. There's I only agree. been like a few rare times you Gandhi. Give... Yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> You give somebody money and power, and it's just, you're done. Hitler never abused that either. No, Hitler thought he was doing what was best for his country. Let's which... let's be honest here, though. Hitler well, didn't do that. Can, can you, can you really, like, let's, let's be honest. Can you really blame Hitler for doing what he did? I not mean, really. blaming the Jews for it was definitely not the right thing to do, but I can't deciding, hey, I'm going to fuck over all the countries that fucked my country, so. But what I'm saying is they didn't really give him power. He kind of took it. He did take true, it. True, true. So we can't say that about Hitler. I mean, he took it. They, yeah, he... They, they gave him a little was, bit, and he took it all. Yeah, it's like he literally took what little power uh, Germany had, and then he fucking just went with it. He was a very, very smart man. Now, he eventually did, you know, he got a little... He got really cocky, obviously. Yeah, he definitely got well, cocky. Well, like, oh, I'm, I'm about to finish off the UK. I'll just fucking attack uh, Russia now. Yeah, I'm going to say, there's only two big mistakes he did, and one of them was actually running out of money and then attacking Russia. That was the only two big yeah. mistakes. Other than that, yeah. we would have lost. Russia, that was the dumbest he thing he could have done. Yeah, because he needed a lot of money to make this, the tanks. Tiger tanks. That was part of the, yeah. That was his number one mistake from what I've read in history. Um, yeah. They claim that Russia, number one. No, well, running out of money. Oh, if well, the tanks were so effective, why did you need so many? <laughs> yeah, he ran out of money trying to make everything, but their guns were shit. Besides, like a few German guns were actually really good. Like the MP40 wasn't bad, and their Nambu pistol wasn't bad. But if you drop the Nambu, it would shatter in like a million pieces. I, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, it couldn't get much worse than Russia's weapon. Yeah. I mean, they had the fucking machine gun that literally would jam like every. They every... only had one real good weapon. That was the SVT. Or no, that was a yeah. German. That was a German. Yeah, it was. Did Russia have any good weapons? No, no. <laughs> SVT was SVT was their their gun. It, it stood for Soviet forty. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm thinking of um, what was it? Oh, the Gewehr. I was thinking of the Gewehr because they're both semi-automatic uh, assault rifles, and they can both turn into uh, sniper what was, rifles. What was the? Who made the Car ninety eight? I believe that was not... Japanese people. Oh, that seems like a Russian or a German. I know, I'm pretty yeah, sure Car 98, because it's with a K. Yeah, probably. 
Oh, they suck it up. And then you had the fucking Japanese. They were smart, smart with their attacks. I mean, I mean, kamikaze. Yeah, you lose the soldiers, but damn, you kill a lot of your enemies with it. <laughs> no, it was a German. It was a German rifle, Car ninety eight. Oh, okay. I could have swore it wasn't though. Oh no, they um, they had the uh uh Arisaka. They had the Arisaka sniper rifle. Yeah. Rifles. And yeah. um. I believe there was one more they made. Arisaka, it was a semi-automatic. It was a sniper rifle, but you could turn it into an assault rifle. It was very vers. There was a lot of versatile guns back then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Camper's still here. He said he said cars German. We I figured it out. Like I, thought, I thought it was. I thought it was German, but. Just making sure. I like the Gewehr. Like it, I, I would take the Gewehr all day long. I think that was one of the, the greatest weapons ever made. Besides the M1 Gram, but the Gewehr was a, a I think it was a 762 round and it semi-automatic. Man, you can't. That shit's hard to beat, bro. Might kick like a mule, but all you need is that one bullet. Oh, uh, Mosin, Mosin Nagant. What was the other one? Mosin Nagant. Mosin Nagant. I'm a fucking J Japanese, bro. I don't know. They Mosin can say Mosin. They can say Nagant or Russian. Yeah. Well, what's your point? Oh, you said something about Japanese. Oh, I said, yeah, I said I'm Japanese. I don't know how to say it. My bad. Oh. My fucking bad. I got confused on my own because I was trying to read this question. <laughs> Podcast question to everyone. There are a hundred Roman soldiers around you and you can have three items to battle them. No vehicles. Ah, oh, late as always, I see. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Answer this question, guys. Uh, OG Mr. Camper says, There are a hundred Roman soldiers around you, and you have three items to battle them. No vehicles. What is it? What do we choose? I don't know. I feel like this is a trick question. A Gatlin gun. Yeah. Send this. I would. I would say a hole. <laughs> a <laughs> dig hole. a hole. Dig a hole and say this is Sparta. Yeah. Is this a trick question? I feel like it's. He says it's, it? it's the Russian nugget. Alex, get it right. Not the Mossin Mossin Nagant. Is the Russian nugget? Yeah, the Japanese didn't believe in in surrendering. That's why they would kill themselves. Yeah, I was gonna say that's uh, even yeah. even even on the ground. Uh, they'd strap grenades to them and run towards each other. Yep. And that's why yeah, I believe yeah. statues would be okay for people like I can't remember his name, but um, a Russian or Russian uh, Japanese on Iwo Jima. Strap grenades to himself and ran towards an ammo bunker because they it was trench warfare, and one guy jumped on him and like hugged him because if it would have blew up that it would have blew up that ammo bunker it probably would have blew up I don't know like a dozen men or some shit it would have just destroyed that entire trench statues for him I could respect. He just saved what could have been a, a fucking tragic event. But but hand it to the Japanese soldier too. That was a smart smart move on him. Oh yeah, it was fucking <laughs> Hey, I die, but goddamn, I get to take twelve men with me. <laughs> sit and spin an AA twelve. What? <laughs> what is a sit and sit and spin AA twelve?
Oh, Damn. this guy cracks me up. Sit and spin AA12. <laughs> Is these baby terms? All right, Alex, you got one more good question or no? I don't know. Does, does, um, does, um, does, um, does, um, Megano? I don't think she can hear me, or I can't hear her. Yeah, I was gonna say, because she's talking, and... Oh, uh, yeah, she's muted. <laughs> you fucking slut. Got a good question? Question about the government? I, I, I just... No. It is a kid's toy! Well, shit, everybody. I think this podcast is coming to a conclusion, and my conclusion is pretty simple. Fuck the government. Yep. I don't trust All them. Agreed. I choose to live in a swamp in my little tiny hut. Fuck everybody. I don't trust them, never will. They could give me all the money in the world. I still wouldn't trust it. And before I end this podcast... I want to say something. I, I seen a, a TikTok. It wasn't really well. I didn't get on TikTok. It's I watch Instagram Reels way better than TikTok in my opinion. Anyway, it had all these um big name actors on how they became famous, and I think I'm gonna have to talk about this in one of my podcasts because you know they're. The more and more I watch these videos, and they're, they're different actors all the time I see them, they all say the same thing. They sold, sold their soul to the devil. Huh? Illuminati confirmed. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, some of these actors are really famous, and to me, I think they fucking suck. Huh? So, this could be true. As long as... As long as you're not bashing Daddy Reeves, we're okay. I, I'm going to say <laughs> one of them was Kate Hudson. Now, okay. this is a, an unpopular opinion. I don't think she's that great of an actor, actress. Certain movies, she, what movies maybe she sure. is? Um, The one with, um, what the fuck? Owen Wilson and that other fucking square-headed looking fuck. Uh, I'll have to look her up real quick. I watched a lot of uh, the movies that she was in. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I don't think she was that uh, great in that one. Fool's Gold. Okay. I definitely don't I think like she it. was great in that one. I didn't see Deepwater Horizon, or I might have. Raising Helen was retarded. The one good one she might have been in was You, Me, and Dupree. I think that was a good one. Who is that square-headed fuck? Said it was a female? No. Uh, it was oh. a male. It was Owen Wilson and a square-headed fuck. Vince Vaughn? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> or maybe it wasn't Vince Vaughn. It might not have been Owen Wilson. I know she was I mean, in I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Vince Vaughn, because Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson are always... Yeah, that's why I, that's why I immediately went to Vince Vaughn. <laughs> I believe she was in a movie with him, though. I could be thinking of someone else, though. But I just, I don't know, I just don't think she's that great of an actress. And she was one of them who says that. I don't know. You know, hey, it could be true, man. Sold her soul to the devil. Maybe that's what I have to do. I'd sell it to the devil before I sell it to the government. That's for goddamn sure. Alex, I didn't hear you. I heard you in the other room, but I didn't hear you. Oh, I said amen. I'm going to get that. Hey, Alex. Hey, what? I am potate. I am potate. <laughs> so that might be a podcast coming up but if you guys have ideas get in the discord write them down comment on these videos 
something. Give us some more ideas. We can talk about shit all day long. We literally were just talking about Kate Hudson being a bad actress. <laughs> you guys want opinions on something? Ask it. Just remember, you might not want to hear those. Be prepared for the um the worst. <laughs> fair yeah. warning. This is a fair warning. If you if you want us to talk about something, and there's a you want an opinion on something, just know that I'll give my opinion. But be prepared that it might not go with yours. <laughs> and most likely, probably, probably won't. <laughs> But this podcast is coming to an end. Thank you, everybody who joined. Thank you, Mr. Camper, for coming to talk. But I am ending this stream and probably ending this recording. And I'll see you guys maybe next Monday, if I'm not busy. That's all I can say. <laughs>